So for these, we're going to use this rule of thumb that if they give you a given that, you're going to zoom in on that row or column, and that total for that row or column will now be your new denominator. If they don't specify a given that, your denominator will just be the total, and you're just looking at the whole thing, trying to figure out what you want over the total. So, with that in mind, we're going to come here. We want the probability that it's defective. No given that, so we're just working with the total. 360 out of that total, 40 are defective. So 40 defective out of the total, you simplify that to 1 ninth, perfect. Now we want the probability that it's good given that it's 60 watts. So we're going to zoom in on the given that. So we're going to zoom in on this line here. So there are only 100 light bulbs that we're dealing with. So the new bottom is going to be 100. And of those, just of that line, you're ignoring the entire rest of the chart, the ones that are good are 90. So 90 out of 100, so 9 tenths. Um, for the next one, you want the probability of getting 100 watts, given that it's good. So we're going to erase this, and we're now going to zoom in on the given that it's good. So you're given it's good, so we're looking at these guys here. There are 320 good guys total, so the new denominator is 320. And of those, again just ignoring the entire rest of the chart, of those 320 that were given, we want the ones that are 100 watts, just 150. So 150 out of 320 simplifies to 15 out of 32, and that's your answer for that one. So now the next one, again we'll erase previous work. And now we want to zoom in on the given that it's not 60 watts. All right, fine. So we're given that it's not 60 watts, which means it's either these or these. So there are 100 plus 160. So 260 total that we're zoomed in on. So 260 is our new denominator. And of those, of only the ones that we circled, we want the ones that are good. So we have 80 here that are good, and 150 here that are good. So 230 together that are good out of the ones we could possibly get. So simplifying that, 23 out of 26. Now the next one, there's no given that. So we're dealing with the entire 360. So just erase. And you may want to tell your teacher what you're doing for this because she may want to see some work. And so you may want to sh tell her that I'm just circling what I want. So you want good and 100 watts. So of these, you want both good and 100 watts. So there's 150 that you want out of the 360 total. So 150 out of 360 simplifies to 1536, which, yeah, which is your final answer. Now the next one is good or 100 watts. So you'll take anybody that's good You'll take him, him, or him, or you'll take anyone that's 100 watts, so him or him. Just make sure you don't double count him, right? No reason to double count him. There are 80 plus 90 plus 150 plus 10 that you want, so 80 plus 90 plus 150 plus 10, and there was no given that, so you're still dealing with the total 360. So... 170 plus 150 is 320 
330 out of 360, which simplifies to 33 out of 36, which simplifies to 11 out of 12. So 11 out of 12. For the last one, all right, so we're going to erase the work for the first one. And then we have a given that again. So given that it's not defective. So not defective, in other words, good. So we're zoomed in on these good guys. There are 320 good guys. That's our new denominator. And of those, how many are 20 or 60 watts? So just out of the ones we're given, we want the ones that are 20 or 60 watts. So there are 170 total that we want out of the 320. So 170 out of 320 is 17 out of 32, which you got here and she gave you credit for, which means she's good without you showing the work. So hooray, yes.